Hey Aquarius, Happy New Year. I hope you are all doing very, very well. So this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of January 2022. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aquarius. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading for more specific information. And all of that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed for general readings. All right, so the overall energy for you for January, we have solitude. Okay, so could be that you've been feeling alone, maybe someone else is feeling alone, or maybe you just wanna be left alone. <laughs> Um, trying to figure your own self out. Let's actually get into this and see what this is about. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of January. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will be alone, all right? Solitude just means that you might just be feeling that need to go within and to just really um, connect with your own self. So let's see. Okay, so for the situation, oh, we have the Five of Swords crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it could be that you felt like you were another person, like there was some kind of a betrayal here. Um, and it can be a little bit challenging to really get yourself on a new path. Let's see, for your recent past, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, okay, definitely feeling like there was a betrayal or like there was some kind of a painful ending. Currently, we have the Two of Pentacles, and in the near future for you, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, yeah, so it feels like you might be having a little bit of a difficult time at the moment just trying to fully bring into balance everything that's going on or everything that's been happening, just trying to make sense out of everything. And so you might be a little bit closed off coming up. So that would explain the solitude. I do feel like that is you. Um, just pretty much wanting, I said this to another sign, wanting to be left alone. It feels like it's a theme for some of you. Let's see what's going on with this other person. So in their recent past, we have the Eight of Cups present we have the king of wands and in the near future we have the ace of wands okay interesting this has been a theme as well especially for the earth signs though um because i see this person having walked away here with the eight of cups currently though they're they're feeling this passion for you again and then in the near future ace of wands trying to bring this back to life um, but as I said to some of the other times where like the same theme was playing out, it doesn't look like you're wanting to accept this. You're a little bit closed off to it. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, I see you pretty much not wanting this offer or just turning your back to it or just ignoring it. Um, but that's for now. Let's see. Let's get into this. Sometimes the details can change things a little bit. So let's see the Five of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Sun, the Ace of Cups, and the Devil. Okay, yeah, so this was definitely a connection that felt like, did I say Ace of Cups? It's the Queen of Cups. Um, we also have Leo showing up here as well as Capricorn. So yeah, this was a connection where it felt like, you know, you you were happy. Like this is something you really, really wanted. There were a lot of feelings here. There was a lot of, if it wasn't love, it was definitely very, very deep feelings. But, you know, something happened here. There was some kind of a betrayal that really just killed it. It may even be that there was a lot of, um, for some of you, there may have been something toxic within the connection itself rather than a specific be betrayal. All right, somebody really having taken advantage of, of your emotions, either willingly or subconsciously. 
and it does appear like you know the struggle for you right now is to fully find that that happiness again in your life overall and to get away from the the toxic effects that this has left it's like I, I feel like this has like left a scar a big scar and actually it's not even a scar it's it's still an open wound for most of you at least let's see a ten of swords we have the eight <laughs> clarifying the eight of cups yeah somebody walked away somebody turned their back um, let's see the eight of cups for them And it feels like this just happened in a very hurtful way, like in a way where there may have been some dishonesty or there was just not much dignity in the way that this person um, walked away. For some, I mean, it could even be that you walked away, but I'm mostly seeing it as them walking away. Maybe it was both of you. Like maybe this person did something where it was like, it was like the equivalent of them walking away, but not physically having done so and so, and so then you did but it was still very, very painful. So um, for them, for the Eight of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the world. So it's like, whatever it is that happened, whoever walked away from who, um, it's like this person really made you feel like there is no coming back. So I don't know if maybe some of you, you know, kind of, we're expecting that this person would actually come back and try to, you know, make things right or try to make up or something like that. And they didn't. It's like they just put this ending to any kind of a potential. And it's interesting because we, that's what we have here, the Ace of Pentacles in the challenge position. And it's like now it's showing up with this world card. It's like, no, that that new path or, you know, some kind of a potential of making things work. It was just completely closed out by this person. Like not, not giving any opportunities whatsoever for closure or for any explanations or reconnecting or resolving. It was like nothing, nope. Walking away completely. So I wouldn't be surprised if this person just completely disappeared for some of you. All right or something along those lines. So let's see what's happening now. Let's see that King of Wands and their energy. The Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Very interesting. Because it, it just feels so different than this past energy. I mean, this person is definitely feeling the pain now. There's something happening here. I still feel some resistance um, from their side. They're wanting to take some kind of action, possibly wanting some kind of a communication now. But there's resistance here. Hmm. I feel like this person really knows how much they hurt you with this Three of Swords. And they're feeling pain because they caused you pain. I don't know what it is that has shifted. This feels like a huge like leap. It's almost like, you know, there's a missing piece to the puzzle here. Something must have happened in between. In between these two energies that's not showing up here, though. Because this is a huge, huge shift. Um, let's see, let me see that Two of Pentacles for you. Maybe it will clear up. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. I do get a, a lot of fire energy from this other person. Alright, so for the Two of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles again, the Ten of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. It feels like you're kind of 
kind of still open to this, but I feel like that's mostly because the wound is still either fresh or there's this scar. Um, but it's it's more, more like you're not really sure. I feel like you're trying to come to terms with this ending and wanting to walk away, but there's still a lot of fluctuation, which would explain why you just want to be left alone to figure this out. So again, it's not very clear what may have happened here to have made this person all of a sudden now feel differently. I do see that drive though. There's, there's, there's a lot of drive here for this person to come towards you at the moment. And I'm not sugarcoating. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. And it's, it's actually surprising me as well, based off of this past energy. It could even be for some of you here, what I'm getting just for a specific group of you, you might um, be involved with somebody else or maybe um, opening up to somebody else, but not fully. I feel like that's why we have solitude because it's like more of kind of playing with that idea or with that option if it's presenting itself to you, trying to find that happiness. But it's like, again, you're not giving much to it. You're not giving much to it because you still haven't fully recovered from this past situation. And so that, for some of you, that could be the reason why this person is now all of a sudden um, feeling this drive. And of course that's not, a legitimate reason, right? So don't think I'm trying to say that it's a legitimate reason. It's not. All right, let's see what's coming up. Let's see this Ace of Wands for them. The Two of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Moon. Yeah, they're trying they're trying for this reconnection, but but there's a but. Also have Pisces showing up. I feel like they're not even 100% sure of what it is that they want. They definitely have this drive, this desire to come after you. They're definitely feeling this pain. Um But I still feel like there's something here that's unresolved within their own self, with whatever it is that happened here. It could be that this person might still be um, not exactly hiding something because I feel like whatever it is that's happened, it, it's already come out to the open. But there's something here about this person's energy coming back where it feels like Let's say, for example, if, if, if they were unfaithful or if there was a third party or something like that, I'm not sure that they're 100% detached from that energy or, you know, 100% um, independent of that at the moment or when they come back. They might want to be. And it might still be a work in progress. But I feel like there's still a little bit of um, shadiness or possibly even some fears within their own self concerning, concerning their own self, basically, and concerning, you know, how, how available they really are, whether it just be um, emotional availability or on the physical or you know whatever the case is so I feel like you're right in not fully trusting this at least for now let's see the seven of wands Yeah, okay, so the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Wands showing up for you now. Yeah, I feel like that's the message here is that 
um, you know, you're setting your boundaries and that's what you are being called to do. You're being called to set your boundaries and to be patient, to not, you know, impulsively give in to something that you know is not going to be good for you at the moment. Again, I can't stress that enough because, you know, things can shift, things can change. Um, you're being called to fully stand in your power and I do, I do see you doing that. And, you know, staying very, very grounded here. Trusting your own self. Being patient that, you know, things will work out for your highest good. All right, let's see the four cups. Yeah, the emperor. And strength. Okay, the message cannot be more clear here, Aquarius. Um, yeah, so I know this isn't like the most like pleasant reading ever. Um, but yeah, the message for you here is the fact that you are setting your boundaries and the fact that you are not accepting something that is not what you want or what you deserve and what's going to make you happy, that's pretty much you standing in your power here. And you're you again, you're being called to have this strength. Be strong. Know that you are strong. You are, you know, the emperor of your own self. And I do also see this as this being something that you can have as your outcome when you are, when you're standing in your strength, setting those boundaries and not accepting something to you that, you know, is like, um, what's the word, like half-assed, like it's just not the full deal. Right? Or if somebody, you know, has been ignoring you, again, setting those boundaries. And there will be this emperor who will be coming in. So, yeah. Aquarius. You do have that emperor. I don't know if it's going to be this person, though. Some of you it could, for others of you, for most of you I see it as being somebody different, somebody else. All right, so, ooh. okay, so we got two. We have the new moon in Gemini. Communication is key. Take that however it resonates for you, okay? I do not see, um, I feel like that's just going to be, you know, like a personal message for each of you that can resonate in a different way. And then we also have the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Someone else got this. I can't remember who. But yeah, know that prosperity is in your future. It's not that far away. And prosperity is not only talking about finances, okay? It's talking about every aspect of life. Just prosperity, abundance. It can be love. It can be, it can be financial. But it can be spiritual. It can be anything. So, Aquarius... Those were the messages for you. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.